Hello students! Welcome again to my class. What comes to your mind when you hear the word outline? Well, the group 5 of my reading and writing skills students will elaborate to us about reading and writing outlines. So please check this out. Hello everyone! I hope you all are having a wonderful day. My name is Aziza Soriano Adil from Grade 11 Del Pilar B and my group mates Ibrahim Jalasli, Lee Mejia, Annabel Cook and I will be discussing about outlines and how to create them. So before we talk about creating, reading, and writing an outline, let me define first what is an outline. As stated from our ebook, an outline is a summary that gives the essential features of a text. It shows how the parts of a text are related to one another as parts that are of equal importance or sections that are subordinate to a main idea. In addition, an outline is used to present the main points in sentences or topics of a given subject. Each item in an outline may be divided into additional sub-items. Every writer uses outlines to better visualize their ideas and to have a way to share them with others in the planning stage of the writing process. There are two kinds of outlines. First is the reading outline and second is the writing outline and they will be discussed by my group mates later in this video. To further explain more about outline, let's say you have a paper to write and the first thing to do is to think about the topic that you want to write about and then form the ideas you want to add in your paper. After you brainstorm your ideas and all that, the next step is to organize those ideas which is an important thing to do as you write your paper. Before you outline, here are some of the things that you should do. First, you must define the purpose of your essay. You need to ask yourself, like, why did the teacher assign this paper? Or, what do you want to learn from this topic? Or, uh, what do you want your reader to understand? The second thing to do is um, to define the audience for your essay. Because knowing your audience can allow you to focus better on your paper. And lastly, is to write your thesis statement. So basically, outlining your paper can help the readers understand your topic and what you're trying to say in your paper. Because if you do not organize or outline your writing, your readers won't be able to understand your paper if you do not organize it properly. So yeah, it is important to outline your paper to make it more understandable for your readers. That is all for my part. Thank you so much for listening. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Ibrahim Jalasti. I'm a grade 11 student. And uh, today we are going to be talking about one of the topics, important topics basically when it comes to outlining and that is called reading outline so a reading outline is used to get the main ideas of a text that is already written when you outline something someone someone or basically that someone else wrote you are trying to represent their ideas and structures it helps you understand the text more critically because you will have to find the text thesis support statement and support you will better understand how a writer connects and sequences the information in the reading. Once your outline is done, basically the outline you created is done, it can, it can serve as a reference as you prepare for in-class discussions, discussions, representations, board posts, or other classworks. Though some teachers may ask you to outline a reading for homework, or seat work, or maybe a quiz, I guess. You should get in that habit doing so when it's even though it is not required because once you prepare a reading outline that's incredibly beneficial especially when you are representing like what i am doing so now that we got through all what is reading outline all about do note that creating a reading outline is not easy 
this because reading outline is basically not on your own research, but it is on someone else's research. Reading outline is all about researches. And you can include your own research, though it is important that the point of a reading outline, you're meant to represent someone else's ideas, and creating one must be highly structured. And there are 10 examples of it, basically, actually. So, yeah, I'll just, I'll just read it to you all. So, number one is to read the entire text first. Skim the text afterwards. Having an overview of the reading's content, it will help you follow its structure better. Number two is to locate the main idea or thesis of the whole essay. So, example number two has three categories, and that is to look at the title of the text, look for heading, if there's any, look for information that answers the question. Example number three, look for key phrases at each paragraph of the essay. Example number four, locate the topic sentence of each paragraph. Number five, depending on the length of the text, look at the topic sentence and group those with related ideas together. See if they describe a process or there are examples. Number six is to logically organize information. The contents of the readings are arranged according to levels. A level refers to the number of ranks in the hierarchy of the information in the reading. Number seven is to provide a general group name of each group of topic sentences. This will be the main divisions of your outline or the first level. Label these with Roman numerals, that's important. The topic sentences will be the subtopics or the second level. Label these with capital letters. Number eight is to evaluate the supporting details provided. These will be the third level of the outline. You should label these with Arabic numerals. Number nine is to go back to the text after you have finished your outline. Check whether you have followed its sequence closely and that you have not missed any important information. Okay, so if you are wondering why reading outline is incredibly important, or probably not, if you even listen to my discussion or not, well, do note that creating a reading outline is beneficial. It can be used as your study guide because it can help you remember what you either studied or you can adapt by adding up to more information about what you are either presenting and yeah or whatever you're writing so yeah I guess that's it that's all about reading outline I guess anyways bye Okay, so my name is Lee Mayer and today I'm going to be talking about creating an outline. So what is an outline? It is a line or set of lines enclosing or indicating the shape of an object in a sketch or diagram. It is also a good step while writing your paper. It allows us to find new ideas and to make sure that your paper is neat and organized. Next is, what should we do in an outline? During the writing process, writing an outline will take place at any time. This method may also take place during or after writing your paper to ensure that your points are structured and make sense, but it is more widely used before starting to write or to do research. The next one is, how do I write an outline? First thing you need to do is that you need to identify the assertion of your subject or thesis. Another is that during your article, determine what points would you like to address in order to in order to link each point back to your main point, place points in a logical and numerical order. Another is that write your potential inter-paragraph transitions and always keep in mind that your outline should be a rough concept of how your paper will evolve. It doesn't have to be very formal or exact. That's all I can say about creating an outline for now. Let's move on to Annabelle for her next explanation. Writing an outline again is basically a skeletal overview of your draft, which contains your fundamental points and the different ideas that supports them. In this use, an outline work is like an outline works is like a map. If it shows that where you where each of your ideas is placed in your writing, on how all of them fit together, and how each leads to central idea of your writing. 
It is also determines the boundaries of your draft, how much of your subjects will need to cover without planking or succeeding in details. When in the process of writing, should an outline be written? Well, most teachers would recommend you to create an outline before you write the first draft. By using an outline, you can sort all of your ideas before you write them down. It will tell you which idea should come first, which one are majors, and which one are weak and need more certific clarification or evidence, and which one should be taken out altogether. It is important to have an outline early because it will set seater your drafts in the right in the right direction as you go writing. It will also save your time from problems in content, organization, and revision as it is already minimizes this before you even start your write, writing your draft. However, it does not mean that you cannot outline in the middle or at the end of your draft. Some writers outline in the middle of the draft to see where they have gone so far and where they could still go. Some outline at the end of the draft to find out what they have discovered or writing and how they structured their discussion on the subject matter. It all depends on your writing styles. On when you think the outline will be useful to depends on your writing styles. On when you think the outline will be useful to you. You can try outlining at the different stages of, of writing your essay and see what works the best for you. So, here are some suggestions in increasing your outline. This can be a model for you to follow the time being and later on, you can develop your own guideline to outlining. There you go, mga students. You have heard the different point of views of my students. And if you want to share your thoughts and opinions too, please comment down. And don't forget to click the notification bell in order for you to be updated if I have new videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Because as I usually say, subscribe now, laugh, and learn later. Once again, God bless you all and thank you so much. Keep safe. Bye.